Hi, I'm Mike Johnson with Radco Truck Accessory Center. Sometimes we get asked how you can free up seized T-handles or how to determine if you need to replace them. Here's a couple tips. So some tools that you're going to need here uh, is going to be a penetrating lubricant. Uh, we've got PB Blaster here, uh, which works really well for freeing up uh, T-handles. Uh, uh, you can use WD-40. Uh, something we've noticed though is that once it cleans out the handle, you'll still want to use some form of like dielectric grease because it tends to attract more dirt particles in there after using it. We've got a channel locks or a pliers, a couple sets of keys, and a towel, and then a little bit of patience. So a lot of these T-handles are going to be seized up so much that the little cover door that's on the handle uh, actually won't go in, so you won't even be able to input the key into the handle. Um, so in this situation, what you want to do is, uh, is start hitting it with a penetrating lubricant, um, and then just let it soak in for a little bit. After letting the lubricant sit in for a little bit, uh, you'll want to take the key um, and try to you know, tap it. If you can't get to push it in, try to tap it in place. Like that. Still going to be a little froze up, So, but now that we've got it open, we can get more lubricant on the inside. Um, and you're going to want to uh, uh, slowly kind of do quick little jerks, try to break it loose. All right, so this one wasn't too hard to do. I uh, just got it broke loose. Um, once it's all cleaned up, you're gonna wanna put a little bit of dielectric grease on the inside of the lock. It'll keep it from corroding. Uh, on top of that, some things you can do to help keep this from happening is getting a rubber lock sock. It's just a cover that goes over the existing handle. Um, but uh, once you're done with this, it uh, should be good to go. If you have any questions, stop in any one of our eight retail stores or give me a call at 888-637-9638. Thanks a lot.